Today's tech tip is on read and write and one of the features within this tool. Um, so read and write is a literacy support tool which is available to all staff and students in the Delta School District who have a Delta Learns Google account. So let's just take a look at one of the tools that I think is quite useful um, within it. So read and write does a lot of things. It, re it reads text. It also does a speech to text. But one of the other things that's really great about it, it is a great tool to help organize and take notes. So that's what we're going to look at today. So here's the read and write uh, extension. And it's found here. If you don't see it, if you click on the gray puzzle piece, you might find it here and then you can pin it up to your extension bar. And I've already launched it. So here it is, read and write. And we're going to look at the highlighting tools and how they can gather notes. Now, one of the other things that you can do with it, this is a web page and it works on a web page as well as, as, well as a Google Doc and PDFs, is you might want to simplify this because some pages have a lot of content on them that may be distracting. So there's a simplify tool and we can just simplify it. It just takes away most of the um, images and leaves just a text. But let's just go back and it just opens this tab here. All right, so we're gonna just go back to this. And so let's say um, I wanna find some information on diet. All right, so I'm gonna highlight some information here that is on diet. So, okay, well, it says right here there, that might be useful. And so I'm gonna highlight it in blue and I'm gonna pick blue to highlight anything that has to do with diet. And as I read through, um, I can see something here um, about diet as well. So I might highlight this as well and also make it blue. And I might also be information on uh, interested in some information on habitat. And so let's see, right here I believe there's um, some information on habitat. Uh, it's native to Australia. So let's make that pink. And I believe there's some more information here, the koala here. So we're just going to highlight all of this in pink. All right. Now this is very brief in terms of what I've selected, but you could just go on. You could use all four of the colors. So if there's four different topics, you could use that. And then we're going to use this tool here and it's called collect highlights. And it's going to collect the highlights and I'm going to ask it to do by color. I could also just ask it to select certain colors, but I'm going to ask all and just go okay. Now you may be presented with this um, and it's just a permission and just click on allow and it usually happens on the first time that it's being used. Now what it does is it opens up a Google Doc and it highlights the information. So here now I can say, well, this had to do with diet and pink had to do with habitat. All right, so there we've organized our notes by color by selecting it from a website. Now we can also do this on a Google Doc. So let's say for instance here I have a Google Doc and I'm doing uh, parts of speech and I'd like you to highlight all the verbs in um, pink and perhaps the nouns in green. So I'm just going to start to select a few uh, nouns. Um, I'm not going to go through and select them all but just a few. And okay so I've selected a few nouns right there. Okay. Same tool applies. I use this collect highlights. I've launched the toolbar and here we go. I'm going to collect them all. Now for the sake of this video, I've just provided some really simple examples of how the tool can be used, but I'm sure you can think of other ways that it might be important for students to organize and collect notes. It also provides a link to the original doc that it was taken from. And this will also have happened on uh, when I collected information off of this website. It also provides a link back to that website so if we need to go back and collect a bit more information. And there you have this week's tech tip on read and write for Google Chrome and using the collect notes tool. Hope you find that helpful.